What's going on everybody? Keith here, Two Guys How To. Thanks for checking the channel out. June's over there. Today we're working on a, a 2002 F350 and it's the temperature sensor that's up in the front there that goes to your gauge cluster. Uh, we've been having problems with this vehicle. When you turn the key on, it should rise up right here and it raises a little bit so we know that we've got continuity going out to the temp sensor but you can see where the transmission sensor it's halfway this main temp for the engine coolant should be half as well we just drove this truck and you can see it moving but it's just not reaching up to its half peak like it should so we're going to go ahead and swap it out we got a new sensor from ford direct from ford dealership uh, that's what we like to use uh, when it comes to these sensors it seems like the aftermarket ones never the plugs never match up right and this one is a uh, it's a motorcraft, and you can see it's a DY1144, and it's the three Frank one zebra dash one two A as an apple six four eight dash A, and this fits right in, and it comes with. Uh, let's get it out of the package here. It comes with Teflon tape already built onto it, which is sweet, and it's got the two prongs in there, and we know the clips line up. This is a, an OEM original part, and it's a, maybe a little bit more, if it, at all more, than Advanced Auto or AutoZone. And we can show you the location. Basically, if you're looking at the motor, this is a 7.3 turbo diesel. You got the alternator. You got your main uh, antifreeze, the upper hose going to the radiator down to there. And you can see right down there, this is your temperature sensor switch. So basically, we're just gonna push the little quick connect it's got a little clip on the side right there and you can see where my finger is I'm gonna push that and pull it off at the same time and there's your two prongs that matches our plug so we're gonna just tuck that up out of the way a little bit that way Jim can get down in there with the socket he's got looks like he's got a half inch drive with a about a 12 inch uh, extension with a what is that a 19, 19 millimeter deep deep uh, deep socket and that actually fits right into here. Let's show them this. It fits in there perfectly and leaves the threads out. So make sure if yours is under pressure, uh, you can relieve the pressure here with doing a radiator cap. Have a drip tray that's underneath there. And basically he's just gonna unloosen that thing real slowly. That way he drips the antifreeze out down onto the drip tray. If you open it too fast, it'll burst up in your face and get in your eye. So he's just going to open it real slow, kind of let it let it leach out the bottom there. It's got that 19 millimeter socket, that deep well socket. And he's just going to undo it by hand and whatever drips out, drips out down through the I bottom. See it leaking out there. Yeah, and you can see it leaking now. Now I'm going to keep the radiator cap tight now. Now that we release the pressure, I'm going to tighten it back up. That way it holds in. And you can see the old the old one versus the new one. Lay them right there side by side. It's just night, night and day difference, but they match up. The prongs are the same. Two. And you can just see this one is just beat down. This pellet's a little longer. This is a newer style. Same thing from Ford dealership. So that's the old. This is a new. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in. This comes with the PTFE paste already on it, so it's a it's a thread sealer for high temp water supply. And you can see the hole down there. He's just gonna put it right back in. Simple. And he's using his hands on this one. It's hard to line it up with the socket. You don't want to cross thread it at all. It should go in nice and easy. As easy as when you took it out. So he got it started by hand. And he's going to go back in with that socket. And put that extension back on there. And just snug it down. There's no real, I mean, there is specific torque specs on it, but we just snug it down where it, it feels like it's, it's tight and that's, that's it. Once it's tight, that's it. You can check for leaks later. We've got this dielectric uh, grease here. June's gonna just put a little bit of that on his finger. 
and we're gonna smear that onto the top part of the plug or I would just put it down in the top part of the plug there. And let's see if we can see what he's doing right there. It's hard to see. Yeah, he's just putting it right on the, the tip of that plug that we took out. That way we get a good, nice connection. He's gonna plug it back in. The dealership would charge you hundreds for this, and we've been doing it, what, five minutes? Just push it till you hear it. You pushed it, snap. yeah, you heard that click, the little click snap. He pulled up on it, checked it, we're good to go. You can see it right there. You can see the wires, I'm gonna get down on it. Good, good to go. So let's fire this thing up now. Make sure your tools and everything are out of the way. And let's start this up and see if we get that temperature gauge to move up where it should be. We just drove this truck, so it should go up. And the surefire way to check is let it run for a little bit or run it up the street. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this up the street and we'll come back and we'll check it and end this video. Okay, this truck generally always I'm not a pig, I'm a lawyer. <laughs>